Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Well, today's video is not on a fish or it's not on a coral. It's an informative video on what? On the phosphate Hannah check of the low range. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into details. I'm going to set up the camera on my dining room table and I'm going to show you how you actually do the actual tests and little things that not many of you might have known how to store the actual uh, vial when you finish it. So hold on one second. Okay, before we start, I thought I'd uh, show you this. These are the refills. Uh, they actually come in these little boxes for 25 tests. And they run about, depending where you get them, they run about eight to nine dollars per box. Uh, you have the Hanna checker in the middle. I'm gonna take it out as we speak. And then you have, it brings seven um, uh, test powders to actually check uh, whatever this is for. In this case, it's for phosphates. And then when it comes to these vials, these uh, tubes, uh, there's two of them. One on each side. So now we're going to go and I'm going to demonstrate the actual test I was actually done. Hold on one second. So before we start, here going from left to right, you have the Hanna checker, low range for phosphates, then you have the vial, and then you have the uh, test powder. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the tank and I'm going to get some water and I'll show you where the steps are. They do say that you have to take all the fingerprints off the actual little tube because, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you put like your hands and all that there, it will impede the accuracy of the test. So I've already have, uh, I have water inside to the specific line it talks about. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. This is uh, a, a little wiping cloth that I came with a Radeon, the XR15 Pro, and it's more than enough. It's the, the proper type that you would actually go ahead and, and do it. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna turn on the uh, tester. You're gonna turn, you're gonna open it. You're gonna turn on the tester and it's, it's gonna say uh, C1. So what that means is you go ahead, you introduce the uh, test vial, close it, and now you're gonna press it again. Now it's, what it's doing now, it's calibrating to zero from the water that you just put in. Now it says to add C2, and that's when you add the, the powder. You're gonna take it out. Okay, let me get a pair of, well, I can actually do it this way. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and put the powder in the uh, in the vial. Make sure it all goes in. There you go. Now, what it says is to actually shake it for a minute and a half, but you really don't have to do it for a minute and a half. I, I just kept shaking it and shaking it, and when I see that, you know, you put it against the light and you see that, that you don't have no particles of the powder, you're good to go. While at the same time, it is on C2. I'm going to look at it. Let me see. It's almost there. Do a little more. Okay, there we are. I'm cleaning it to make sure 
there's no fingerprints, put it inside, you close it, and you're going to hit it again, and it's going to calibrate. Now it's, it's, it's going to start to count down uh, three minutes. So as we speak, um, well, as we wait for the three-minute mark, uh, when it comes to phosphates, they say that the sweet number is 0 0.03. Uh, but I have found out, and you know me, Eddie the researcher, I found out that if you really have, like, uh, let's say, if you have from 0 0.01 to 0 0.09, you're in the, in the sweet spot. So it doesn't have to be exactly three. Uh, um, when I say the number three, you know, it's like 0 0.03, 0 0.05. If you have three, five, six, or eight, nine, you're uh, fine. So we wait until it counts down all the way to zero, and then it's going to flash, and it's going to tell you what the actual reading is. Now, once you get your phosphates stable, but what I mean is that you have uh, an, a certain amount of phosphates, then what you do is you calibrate it. Uh, but what I mean by that is you, you kind of like gauge it. So if the phosphates is a little high, feed less. If it's low, feed a, a little more. Uh, presently, what I'm doing is I'm feeding, la uh, lately I'm feeding daily uh, frozen mice shrimp. I feed it once a day, but if, if the results show like a little high, then what I'll do is simply I'll just uh, feed like uh, every other day. We're almost there. It's on the, it just passed the 20 second mark. And now it's doing the calibration. Okay, what does it show we have? Okay, it shows we have 0 0.15, that's a bit high. So upon viewing that it's at 0, 0.15, I just have to make some uh, adjustments like feed less instead of feeding uh, every day. So now I'm going to show you something that not too many people know when it comes to cleaning the actual uh, vial. Hold on. What they're saying is that uh, the uh, finished product, you know, when you put the powder inside and all that, you shouldn't leave it for too long because it might... Uh, stick like let's say to the walls the inner walls of the uh, glass and then the next time you use it is not going to be as accurate I mean the glass has to be crystal clear but one thing that not too many people know is what people are usually doing is they go ahead they empty it like I have I've emptied it and they just you know close it and put it away well actually you really shouldn't do that what you should do is actually get RODI water and then first just flush it. I'm going to go ahead and, and put some of it here. Just flush it. And what they say is to actually store it. Store your uh, vial with RODI water, which is what I'm in the process of doing now. It actually fills with uh, 10 mLs, and this syringe is 5, 5, so times two, there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the uh, top, and that's where you should be, that's where, how you should actually store your actually vial. You should actually go ahead and uh, put it with uh, RODI water and just store it. That's all you gotta do and you're ready for the next time. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative, educational. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And next to it, there's a little bell. That's the notification bell. So every time I upload a video, be the first ones to know that I did so. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.